everyone, Lars Christensen here. This quick tip is for all you 3D printing ladies and gentlemen. A few weeks ago, I did this cool phone stand on a Facebook Live. And yes, the link to that recording can be found in the description of this video. Pretty cool, but have you ever wanted to add some cool texture to your 3D printed parts? You can of course start sketching, extrude and sweeping to make cool patterns and knurls, but what if I showed you an easier way to create cool textures? Now here come the fun part. Most printer guys zone out when they hear the word cam. We add material, they say, not subtract, but just wait a second. I'm going to create a copy of our original body and use the project sketch to raise the area for the texture a bit. Now for cam, we always start with the setup and I will make sure the blue arrow points upwards and check that the original body is selected in the model section. On the stock tab, I will select from solid and select our copied body with the raised face. Now the 3D toolpaths are really easy to use. I'll select a parallel toolpath and select a 45 degree chamfer as my tool. I know that I only want the raised level to be machined, so I'll select that and hit OK. Now, this might not look impressive, but if we simulate with stock, it starts to look like something. Now, I do have better imagination than this, so if we go back to the toolpath and turn on perpendicular passes, and it starts to look a little cooler. But we still need to get this to the 3D printer, right? While in the CAM simulation space, right click and select stock and then save stock, there is our part with a cool pattern as an STL file. You can really use a lot of toolpath with Infusion 360 for cool patterns. Besides the flat knurled, you can use the spiral or trays to follow some random sketch you create. Now, have fun printing, and until the next time, take care.